Hello, my name is Justin Zyrel M. Apo, and today we're going to talk about change. Change is constant and cannot be avoided in every time. It's either you're in the past, in the present, or even in the future. Change begins with how and when we interact with others. When we listen respectfully to others who have different opinions and life experiences than our own, we take the first step in listening. We accept that there are perspectives and points of view on most issues of concern. If we truly want to be a participant in real change, we cannot stop at acceptance. We must have conversations that push and pull, that ask us to give and take. So, in our society, change is a big factor. Not only in social and on political, but in other aspects also, including culture, how we live our daily lives, change is always there. Okay, we're going, but today we're going to talk about only the two change, social change and the political change. The first one is majority now think about abortion is should be illegal. Then abortions are agony and risk of death. Not all who supports women's rights support abortion and many of them are active in trying to promote practical solutions to the causes that drive women to abortion. They argue that men see the risk of pregnancy as something that stops men having sex when they want it. Back then, people don't support abortion at all. They are all against because they said that abortion is a sin because it looks it looks like killing a living or a living person. So that so that time people are so against in doing abortion. But now in the developed and developing world alike, the right to have an abortion should be a woman's decision and no one should have the right to tell them differently. The belief that individuals should be able to make their own choices also shapes attitudes about what abortion, abortion policy should be. This powerful impulse is present in many areas of life besides abortion. So that's when social change happens. When people change their perspective about a certain opinion or certain idea. Like this. They, they are supporting now the abortion because they should support the woman woman rights of every woman or female in in the world, even in our country. They they supported abortion because it should be a woman's decision to do what they wanted to do about it. They're not ready about being pregnant or happy. Yeah, that's right. They should support abortion, right? I mean, in this time of situation, in this era, in this 21st century, people are now supporting abortion because um, the right to have an abortion should be a woman's decision. Now, no one should have the right to sell them differently. Yeah, that's right because woman is the one that carries the baby. They are the one who takes care of the baby. So that means if they want to have it, they can have it. If it's an accident or something bad happens happened to them, they can abort the baby. Maybe it's it's a cause of rape. It's a different situation. So you see the change between the past and the present right now. Well back then they don't support abortion they wanted to make the baby live even though they the woman doesn't want to be pregnant or doesn't ha want to have a baby the people or the society wants the female or the woman the people want the female to be responsible and stand for the life of the baby because they said that it's a sin well there are some situations that the female doesn't want to be pregnant at all like what I said earlier like it depends on the situation maybe the female or the women the woman got raped so it's an accident 
she doesn't want to have a baby or be pregnant but still she but still the society wants her to keep the baby but she doesn't want to because that's an accident that's a case of rape or it's an accident that yeah, it's a it depends it really depends on the situation on how they wanted to have an abortion next number two support for same-sex marriage yes this is a one big issue in our country back then the right to marry is fundamental but the right to marry someone of the same sex is not same-sex marriage ruins the sanctity of marriage yeah right right here in our country they really don't support same-sex marriage because I because we live in a religious country that's why so many people are against same-sex marriage but now that is back then when people are still not open to any opinion back then they, they aren't they, I think they aren't open at all because they only wanted to do what what is what they wanted to do because that's what they think is right but now making committed human connections is a good for physical and mental health forming families traditional or not is good for the soul marriage is a basic human right and an individual personal choice change and adaptation make for a stronger psychologically richer society see because that's her personal choice if a person wants to have a same-sex marriage that's their own choice that's their own decision we should support them on what they wanted instead of Pro prohibiting them to do what they wanted to do because you can't stop someone from doing what from doing the things that can make them happy so that's why now in our generation in our era people are now support, supporting same-sex marriage okay that's the two factors that I think have a change between the past and the present right now in the social change next is political change structural re revision back then they must deal not only with the major processes of growth decay and breakdown but also with ceaseless ferment of adaptation and adjustment back then the government or even the people in the society shouldn't only focus on one thing but that's what they did back then so now the simplest de definition of a stable political system is one that survives through crisis without internal warfare the key to their success is their ability to control social development to manage and prevent change and to bring under government direction all the forces that may result in innovations that are threatening to the system so yeah, this is the right thing to do in our government, in the society. They should just focus on one problem, in on one problem in solution, in getting solutions, in fixing problem. They should not go with only one problem. They should, they should fix the whole problem as a whole. Like in every, in every situation, they should look on. How to fix it completely not just a one factor at all that's the change that's the first factor that I I think that happened that has a change from past to the present right now number two petition the legislators about issues then looking at the specific definition of the word petition as it relates to the freedom of petition and the First Amendment, the word can be used to describe any non-violent legal means of encouraging or disapproving government action, whether directed to the judicial, executive, or legislative branch. Well, now, you know, now in our time, a petition is a request to do something, 
most commonly addressed to a government, official, or public entity. Why petition? Legitimacy. The first and most obvious reason why you may want to use a petition is to demonstrate public support to give legitimacy to your campaign. The petition pressure is critically important when your campaign is up against state opposition. So, yeah. Petition is something that back then, petition is only be done when there is something disapproving about a certain action. Like, to this, the word can be used to describe any non violence. So, back then, they only use petition to when it's something isn't good. But now, in, in our generation, petition is used to give legitimacy to your campaign. That's it. That's what my discussion about change between political and social change. How, how there are factors that has or have been changed from the past decade or even eras or generation from the past to the present right now yeah well thank you for watching and listening bye